Good afternoon. Welcome to Options Center. It's Friday, Friday, July 12th, 2024. Welcome, everybody. Once again, we're going to go through SPY on multiple time frames. Not a whole lot of new information, but as I said yesterday, I think there may be some sort of new high, whether that's in SPY or Q's. It, it appears that SPY wants to make a slight new high, possibly into next week. Uh, maybe even Monday with a bullish follow through, which is very typical after a bullish Friday. And then maybe a lower high in the queues. The only problem is what I'm looking out for is that there's unfinished business in the queues. So I talked about that in yesterday's video. I'm not going to go over that again, but we're just going to roll around the horn and, and definitely check out IWM just to see where that's at as well, since that's, um, the market leader at this point and that's what's kind of driving um the spy to the upside and so that's what i was talking about we need to watch the other indices to see which one wants to continue to lead and it seems like iwm is continuing to squeeze and so that's going to lift spy and the cues are a little bit more sluggish so if that rotation changes and the cues start to take lead while IWM is maybe it you know might be done with its move, then uh, perhaps that unfinished business could happen in the queues. Okay, so we're doing this intraday here on Friday, about just before 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you're a supporter, you'll get this video to 99 cents. You'll get this video intraday. If you uh, if you don't want to do that, that's fine. It comes out. It will be published at 4 p.m. Okay, SPY on the monthly time frame. You see the 2000 top here, top of 21. Monthly candle is above, that's bullish, breaking out from that, uh, that trend line. I suspect, and obviously there's no sign of that right now, I suspect this will become a doji candle by the end of the month. So we'll see how that ends up. That's my suspicion. This is a zone. This is, you know, a close above this would start to be bullish, but you're going to have to see a monthly close uh, on top of this, another follow through. But we'll see how this candle ends up. Now, we have bearish divergence on all time frames. So going into resistance, such big resistance with negative divergence is, is huge. It's a huge setup. So we are. Um, we, well, we were short and now we are, uh, we had a long trade today with the, some pretty big call protection and now we're net short again after this large move today. So going down to the weekly, uh, put on the weekly board, here's our traditional technical analysis. Same thing. You see these wicks here. That's what I'm kind of looking for on the monthly time frame. But uh, on the weekly, my gosh, we look strong. You know, this blow off top, we're, we're getting above this channel. We're above the 2000 top. It's, it's bullish until proven otherwise. Uh, so that's why we were hedging. But uh, I was looking for a doji uh, 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 candle on this weekly. Excuse me, I was looking at something. Um, I was looking for a doji candle on this weekly, and it was happening yesterday, but that's completely recovered. So we'll see how the the day ends. Uh, there's a couple of different things we could look for, and I'll, I'll show you that in the lower time frame. With uh, those who are new here, this is the clean look that we have, this, this move up here. I, I thought that uh, price would have rejected first, and, and then hit our target but we're right back right back at our target i'll take those arrows out and um i just i don't know if that's gonna um reach any new highs after after a rejection off of here but uh to see bulls have any opportunity to go from here you got to get on top of this 561 get a nice weekly start off with a daily clearly right and hold above 561, use it as support, 
and continue to go higher. It is possible, but this is our final target. I have nothing else above here except on the lower time frames we can uh, build ourselves a couple more extensions and uh, we'll see how the the week ends today. Could it uh, be volatile by the end of the day? Maybe. Uh, it looks like it just wants to sit on top of the options expected move for the week. But um, looking at the weekly fibs and time ratios, we have time coming into the about uh, seven twenty or so. So maybe price dances around our target uh, until. 721 723 somewhere around that area we have a cluster there so uh, that's possible that's coming up in uh, we have the 19th it's next friday and then the week after so we'll be looking for some catalysts into um uh, two weeks out on the daily time frame this is just a maintenance video there's uh, not a whole lot else to show I did have this channel symmetrical from this uh, low here to this low and you have a high there not the all-time high not the uh, uh, peak there but uh, a high right there and we're using that as a reference so you know price is right back at it, it it's resistance until proven otherwise so it seems to be good so far we're right back at that resistance and look at this Nice big doji candle, reversal, engulfing that, and just like a, it looks like a hot dog coming back up. Not quite a new high yet, but right at resistance. Still in a bullish stance. I mean, what this says to me is this is a some sort of um, range consolidation. So we may see the low again. It's possible. And I'll show you um, what that might look like. So our our ending diagonal uh, look here. This, uh, I do believe, wave five is complete or very near completion. Uh, price can go above 162. It can peak above there and give us a wick on any time frame. So just keep in mind, it's price is trying to push. It's trying to push it there. It's being rejected so far. And we'll see. Maybe it gets pinched between uh, this, um, this resistance and then uh, pinch between the eight EMA and we'll see what happens after that. Uh, we have a time reference um, on Wednesday, 7.16. We'll see what happens with there, but really the cluster is at the end, near the end of the month around uh, 2021 or 7.21, excuse me. That coincides with the weekly time frame. And then we have a couple more at uh, 7.24 through 7.26. Uh, if you're new to this channel, just remember that we look for time and price. We hit price already. Now, it's just not lining up with our, our time frames yet. So I'm really curious to see if, if there's some sort of pullback or just sideways move into the time reference. And then we'll see what happens there. So I, there's we're short. You have a, a very clear reference here. And, and we're going to be short on that until proven otherwise. Um, so we'll give ourselves some room. Going to the 65. 65 minute. I drew another upper trend line here from that top to this one to this one. So it's a valid trend line. Maybe we get one more divergence going into here. From the MACD or RSI. We're at a time reference today, but that, that could signal the low that we had. Uh, that was actually yesterday. So we'll see what this time reference does here today. It seems to be just very bullish. Not sure this is uh, sig signaling any type of reversal. And then our next uh, time um, relationship, our big one, goes out here to the 723 there so again that's going to be a zone 721 clearly has a uh, a big um, weekly daily and 65 minute relationship and so we don't have another divergence here in the rsi yet but we could expect one if we uh, eke out a new high here and hit that upper trend line so and i think if if it does i think that's a, f a final move there um, you know, but ultimately, 
ultimately what I was saying, even though we didn't go down to our targets down here to, to test the wedge, our huge wedge here, the bullish, uh, excuse me, bearish rising wedge still hasn't broken down. So we have to have some sort of uh, bullish mind frame, but we're getting to resistances. So it just might be a good time to lighten up on your trades. I'm going to be bearish, um, but I'm going to have a bullish bias on any uh, correction. I'll hedge constantly, just like we hedged at the low yesterday. And I said that in the video. Um, have a bullish bias because we're going to at least form a top and and uh, until we break down from this wedge and then uh, price should start to accelerate a little bit more. So that was our time and price over here. Uh, we, we came into our targets. That's our final target. Um, now, if we want to put one more target up there in the short term, then just like the other ones, let me take these off. That didn't... It, it, sort of worked out i guess um we got a, a correction but very small so what could happen here is we take the the high to low right now we're at uh, the the 90 percent retracement but you take the high to low and you have our retracements which we're at the 90 percent. if we get above 100 percent, now we're looking at the retracements going into targets here of um the 127 so that'd be 564 and then 566. I'm I'm not sure that price will get up there, but those will be short term um, on the lower time frame uh, new targets if the 100% um, retracement is uh, broken broken from. So we'll see. And then we can see going into these uh, retracements going into time factors we'll we'll see what happens all right so um another thing talking about structure so if this is if this is not a top here and we're just consolidating what it looks like, like it looks like on the daily time frame this could easily be an a b c correction and that would just mean we move sideways more uh that'd be a flat flat correction either way this looks a little bit bullish because of uh the extreme move either we're getting a double top uh which could exceed the other top it's still considered a double top but or it's a flat pattern and so those are the two options this might be a five wave move up ekes out a new high and that might be it or this is an a b c it holds to go to some of these extensions up here all right uh that's we'll look at the vix and that's pretty much it i'm gonna keep this short it's just a maintenance video um of looking at why and, and this is what we talked about on the vix rejecting off of this trend line which we did a sharp rejection and now what we have to look for is it's at a 78 percent retracement right now so this could hold there's support here but if it wants to make a new low, then we'll probably see those extensions that I was talking about starting to hit uh, and getting new all-time highs on SPY and or Qs. We'll see how they uh, end up uh, if they just retrace. We'll see where they're at right now. So here's the Qs, kind of a... Uh, fake break that we can consider uh, maybe it goes up to test this uh, wedge again about 500 500 would be a natural mark and looks like we close that gap not to the penny but we'll get rid of that and a retracement here we're looking at the retracements it's making right now made it to the 50 percent It'd be more typical at the 62 and of course it could spike up there so the 500 would be a natural spot for it to go to but it um any retracement up here uh after the 786 that's when you start thinking this is a much more bullish play uh, just like spy we think so maybe we just get a lower high here in the queues and a higher high in the 
uh, spy, which would create a divergence in itself. And uh, we start to move lower from there. So clearly a bullish Friday. I would suspect that Monday is a follow through from Friday. And then we'll see what turnaround Tuesday brings us. All right. Thanks for joining us here at Option Center. Have a wonderful weekend. We'll talk to you soon.